everyone. So this is like my fifth time trying to film this and each time something has happened to where I like can't upload it or I can't even finish filming and yeah, I'm going to try to not talk too much basically. And yeah, I just had like I just started filming it and I had to stop because I forgot that there's some pages I can't show. Um, because they're for, like, commissions and collabs and stuff. So, anyway, so here's, here's the, the sketch pad, and I got this from Blick. I was able to go in the store, which was really cool, um, because we don't have any Blick art supply stores where I live, so that was really cool. And I started this sketchbook in mid-February, and I finished it at the end of May. So that was last month. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try not to talk about each drawing because, um, <laughs> for obvious reasons, there are 100 pages in here and that would just be too long. Anyway, there's a video about this one. Here's fan art of The Last Airbender. The show, not the movie. Anyway. Yeah, this is some commission stuff. I think it's okay for me to show that. I had to keep redrawing the sketch and stuff. Yeah, as you can see. <laughs> um, this is watercolor. This paper doesn't really take well to watercolor, but I don't mind warping in my sketchbook, so I did it anyway. Yeah, but at this point I was kind of a little triggered because I, I kept having to redo the sketch, so I started making fun of the face. Um, which the face, it didn't really matter because I ended up doing a different face later anyway, so, yeah. That's a self-portrait. Oh, I can't show that. Okay. Some of these sketches are kind of pale, but there was a point in this particular sketchbook when I started sketching with Prismacolor, a black Pr Prismacolor Premier, so it gets better later and you can actually see the stuff better. I'm going to put my thumb here so I remember not to show that page. What's the next page? Wow. That's another self-portrait. There was a a short period of time when I was drawing a lot of self-portraits and then I stopped because I felt like it was kind of narcissistic and I'm not a narcissist <laughs> but I sometimes like drawing myself so I don't know is is that is that weird drawing myself a lot I don't really draw myself a lot anymore so I don't know. Do I have a problem or do I not have a problem? I'm not really sure. I'm going to talk about this one because it's funny. So we were at the hardware store, Home Depot. And I, I wrote Home Depot because that's how Depot is spelled and I think it's funny. Anyway, so it was either the day of or the day before St. Patrick's Day. And my family, we, we don't celebrate that. But my dad accidentally wore green. <laughs> and one of the customers, fellers at the hardware store mentioned it. It was like, I see you got your St. Patty's green on. And I don't know. I thought it was funny. Especially since my dad didn't do it on purpose. And this is Resurrection Ertigal fan art. Yeah. And this is based off a meme. <laughs> Like, there's this funny meme of this boy saying, well, it was like, when she cooked you Lunchables, but you planned on having Capri Suns with the boys instead or something, so I made something based off that, and I thought it was funny. I still think it's funny. I, I really like that show. Um, American TV kind of scares me, because there's like a lot of stuff, and oh my god, Ugh. But it's like a Turkish TV show, and there is violence, but there isn't, like, nudity, which is something that really makes me uncomfortable, and 
I wasn't supposed to show that one, but it's not a commission, so I guess you can see it. I should stop talking so much, and then I won't do dirty things. <laughs> anyway. You, you, you're probably noticing that this particular character keeps popping up. Not this one. There's a video about this one. It's the video where I talk about my artist pet peeves. And this is not the character either. Well, once I run into him again, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I was going to say. This is Red Lord, the Demon of Men. I came up with this character using a villain name generator on myself. And I got Red Lord, the Demon of Men. And I started writing a story about her, but I haven't finished it. Um, it's kind of like the story that I will start writing when I need a break from my main story, basically. Anyway, here he is again. This is my OC Malevolence, um, or Lentz, and I'm writing a book about him. Actually, I saw something the other day that said you should not say I'm writing a book, especially when it's like your first one, because it, it puts a lot of pressure on you, and yeah, I can see, because whenever... I think, wow, I'm trying to write a book. It gets kind of scary. <laughs> because it's like, wow. A lot of stuff that goes into writing a book. So, actually, a little while ago, I was like, I should stop saying I'm writing a story. I should start saying I, I'm writing a book. But I might start saying, well, go back to saying I'm writing a story instead of I'm writing a book. Because I'm writing a story is less scary than writing a book. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Okay, so this is my OC, Myra. She's in the same story as Malevolence. And I drew this one first, and I came back a little while later and drew this one because this one is not accurate. She's supposed to be really short and kind of shrilby. <laughs> so this is not accurate. I kind of have difficulty drawing short people, but I was able to do it right this time, so... And I really like how this sketch turned out. This one is derpy. And that's why I wrote derp right there. Yep. Those are my two favorite original characters. And I'm sort of kind of out of breath because I'm talking too much. I should calm down. <laughs> um, this was going to be a... I was going to participate in GDB's um, Draw This In Your Style. But I ended up not. Um, that ended... Like, there are several sketches that I've done for other people's Draw This In Your Style stuff. And I never finished them. For various reasons. That one I actually did try to finish. But then the finished product, I didn't like it too much. So, you will probably see that at the end of the year when I do the year in review art of 2019 thing, I guess. This was me trying again. But anyway, I I did sort of kind of finish it, but I didn't like how it turned out, so I never showed it, basically. But you folks on YouTube will get to see it eventually, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. I, it, it took me a lot to get to the point to say that. I don't know why. Okay, this is funny because... <laughs> so I deal with anxiety sometimes. And getting notifications, it triggers it sometimes. And so this comic is basically about me freaking out about getting a notification. And the notification is just from Twitter saying that Trump tweeted something. Because for some reason, Twitter likes to let me know these things. Twitter didn't... I, I don't know what my notification settings are on because it didn't used to do that. But, like, suddenly... I get notifications whenever people I follow tweet, and it's like too much. Please, please stop. I don't know how to stop it. Anyway, okay. let, let's keep going here. And this is the point, because in my old sketchbooks, some of my early works, <laughs> um, I would draw a lot of like couple poses with my OT, o OTs, no, OCs. <laughs> and I kind of stopped... That made me sad, so then I just did a bunch of them, and I did a bunch of comics and stuff. And this one down here, this one is my favorite. I think it's really cute. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, I think it's really cute, and I really like it. And so I just did, like, a bunch of them, and 
this particular page, these two here in another drawing, we're going to be in a video, but then my, um, I don't know, I was having trouble exporting my video files from my phone to my tablet, and so files kept getting corrupted. I figured out what the problem is, um, I didn't have enough storage on my tablet, so. I have fixed that problem, and I don't have to deal with that anymore, which is a good thing because it's kind of frustrating when you spend a long time filming a video or drawing something for a video, and it it doesn't you can't you can't use it because technology is being derpy, you know. Yeah. And this page, I was kind of, once again, just looking back on my old art stuff and looking at Lentz's old design. So I sort of kind of used his old design for this page, and I like it. And for a moment, I considered, because I've changed the story a lot um, since I started, like, almost five years ago. So a lot of things are different, and... When I was looking back at stuff and like rereading some stuff, I considered um, going back to the original story, which um, I don't think I will because <laughs> there's just some things, a lot of plot holes, a lot of holes, and it it just didn't really make sense. Basically, this angle is really hard to draw, and one day I'll be able to do it. But, obviously, this day was not the day that I was able to do it. Sometimes I can get it right. Sometimes, most times, I can't. But, I'm working on it. I won't stop working on it. I'll, I'll keep trying. Okay, I'm going to not be a derp, and I'm going to skip over this page. Okay. Yay, I did it. That one is for a collab, and... Oh... I'm sorry, my collabies, collaborators. Yeah, I guess my collaborators. I'm so sorry. You know who you are. I, I just, I have one more drawing to finish, and soon it will happen. Soon, hopefully. I just, eh, I keep forgetting. I, I have a really, I don't know. To be as young as I am, my memory isn't that great. That, that probably isn't good. I should probably be concerned. This is the, yeah, the Wrath of Darth Maul, or the short story Restraint fan art. Um, yeah. When I was little, younger than I am today, <laughs> I really, 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 really was into, like, everything Darth Maul. And I still like the character, but I'm not as obsessed with it as... The same as I used to be, basically. But I still do have a super secret fan account somewhere that I still post to. So if you can find that, um, yay, I guess. I don't know. I really like the sketch. There's like some times when I draw the site profile of this character and I really like it. And other times where I'm just like... I don't understand why I can't do it properly. Anyway, so this is the last page. Um, yeah, I hope I kept you entertained. I hope I didn't talk too much. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked my sketchbook tour. I hope I didn't go too fast because there is a lot of pages in here. And I don't know if 15 minutes is too short of a period of time to show all of that. I hope not. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like my drawings, and I hope you didn't mind me talking a lot. So, I have a coffee account, and I have a goal up on my coffee account, but I'm considering taking the goal down, but still using the money that I did get to purchase the video editing software because I pretty much have enough for that. I just don't have enough to get the microphone. But I have 
kind of come up with a way to kind of get around that. I have like some earbuds that have some, like a built-in microphone that works pretty decent. So yeah, it's still up if you want to support that, if you want to help me make better videos, because the goal is for purchasing video editing software and a microphone. But I, I don't know, it's been up for a little while and I don't want to feel like I don't want it to seem like I'm begging for money or anything, but yeah, I'm probably going to take it down and go ahead and purchase the video editing software and worry about the microphone later, but it's still up right now, um, so if you do want to help me out, you most certainly can, and yeah, that is all. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, please enjoy the rest of your day, and the rest of your week.